Hello everybody, Low for Machines here, and today I'll be showing you uh, a mini layout I built, uh, or made, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I just had some free time and I decided I wanted to build a layout. It's been a long time since I built one, and I remember as a kid, when you saw those commercials or catalogs with the Thomas and Friends trains, their layouts were amazing, they were like really big abstract and like there are so many trains and all that and when i was a kid i didn't really have that many trains or tracks so i couldn't do that but now that i do have a lot of trains and a decent amount of track i thought i would make a layout now i like to call this the mini island of sodor is what i like to call this uh, layout and it's it's not really that it doesn't have every single destination from the island of soda but it has some of my favorites so here we start off down there is what i consider uh well the steam works there's victor and kevin and if you if i raise the camera even higher keep going keep going all the way there you go you move it down you can see that victor is on a, a separate piece of track then Toby is right here, and that's because uh, uh in the Steamworks, Victor is actually a narrow gauge engine, so he, has, so he has a different set of tracks than the regular engines that go to the Steamworks. And since I really don't have a Steamworks, I uh I added the uh, Sodor Ironworks to this, and there's a diesel right there with uh explosives. Yeah, and here we have. Salty right there, going on the line. Of course, if this was actually a real railway, that 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 right there would would not be good. But then Salty's coming in and he just smacks right into Diesel. That that would be a horrible idea. To, don't actually do that in a real actual railway. But there's Salty pushing his train along, and there's a uh, Trevor on his nice little fake road. Yep. And yeah, that's about it. But, if you follow that line all the way here, this is a long stretch, and there is Sir Topham Hat and Thomas with a water tanker, which is actually, it's a Imaginarium milk, uh, milk tanker, water tanker, because Adventures, or not even Adventures, the new version of Take and Play had almost little to no rolling stock, so you had to use some other way. And you see that there's a, there's a switch where... So top pad is on right there. A switch. There's Thomas right there pulling train somewhere. And then if you follow Thomas and you just keep going, here's what I consider. There we go. This is what I consider the shunting yards. The very mini shunting yards. And you just have some track master track here. You have Percy shunting. And oh yeah, what I consider over there is uh essentially it's that one long stretch of track that leads from one destination to another. It's always in the show. You you always see it. Uh, I guess it's the same route that the express goes on. It's, you know, that that line where there's a whole bunch of trees, and you go up Gordon Hill, and you go down, and it's just more trees. That's, that's what I consider that line. But anyway, down here is the shunting yard for what I consider Napford Station, and you just have... James hanging out there. You have Harvey uh, unloading and whatnot. And I need batteries to replace this thing because this isn't playing anymore. I need batteries. And if you just move it along, here we have um, Napford Station, or at least what I consider Napford Station. And you see it just has three lanes. It has one for Edward right here. Gordon, you probably don't see that, there he is, and then you got one for Henry, and I think that looks pretty nice, I think it looks really good, and yeah, that's my favorite part of the layout right here, the nap station, but of course if you follow them all the way here, there's a two lanes of tracks, and there's Hugo right there, if you continue, you start back there, so then of course if you go all the way over here, let me smooth it. Alright, now if you go on this track. Oh, need some lamp. 
there you see Oliver. And then this is what I consider the Arsdale Railway. And this is uh, the ballast chute, ex except you can't really fit any actual engines on there. So, yeah. It's got this little circle here with all the other engines. There you go. There's Bert, Rex, and Mike. It's pretty nice. And this is actually take and play track here. So, yeah. Take and play or take along, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. That's there. It's pretty nice. I think I, I like that mini Arsdale Railway. And that is pretty nice if I consider my, if I think so myself. Pretty good.